house hunting and I saw a velvet painting of Kramer in somebody's basement. So there's that. Uh, so the next person that we have up, by the way, are you guys live tweeting? Because I'm trying to respond, but there's going to be more wine coming because I'm feeling something like pop rocks in my molar. And I was told, you're welcome. This is wine happening. Uh, I was told that is my infection draining. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, guys, my, uh, my phone just scanned and I'm all safe right now. Okay. So, LP, let's talk about her. Uh, LP, her favorite go-to song is What's Up by Four Non Blondes. For those of you that are not familiar with the title, because it makes no sense when associated with the song, it's the, and I said, hey, yeah, 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 hey, hey. Okay, you know what I'm talking. I said, hey. Thank you. I appreciate you. I may or may not have done that last Saturday night at the Park Center Tavern up in Westminster. Uh, the title of her memoir would be, Hold My Beer and Watch This. Uh, and the best Wi-Fi name that she's ever seen, there are two of them. Hi Joe Kids, Hi Joe Wi-Fi, and it hurts when I pee. <laughs> it might take a second. It's okay. I'm good with that. Anyway, big round of applause for LP. Fresh it, girl. Thank you. I'm going to bring you guys to karaoke night. Mountains. Beautiful, awe-inspiring, powerful, dangerous. A symbol for things we have conquered in our life or those we have failed to reach. Think about the mountains you've climbed in your life. Did you make it to the top? Did you get knocked down? Are you still climbing? For me, mountains are home. Literally, I grew up in them and I have sought them out my entire life. They have always brought me joy, um, the deepest connection to others, and personal challenge. So when my friend and founder of a nonprofit called the Range of Motion Project, or ROMP, asked me to organize a community climb to benefit others, I said, hell yes. And Climbing for ROMP was born in 2015. With the simple concept of dedicating one day or an afternoon, a few miles or a few thousand vertical feet to help someone else gain access to their mobility. This simple idea resonated so deep within me that I made it my full-time job now for four years. Every 30 seconds around the world, someone becomes an amputee. And 97% of amputees in the developing world do not have access to prosthetic care. 97%. ROMP exists to help these amputees get the technology they need so they can summit their own mountains. We believe a prosthesis is not simply a medical device, but an instrument of personal empowerment. And I envision a world where all amputees have access to this life-changing care. For our patients, ROMP is their only option. This is Victor. Victor and I met in Guatemala in 2016. And thanks to Facebook and Google Translate, we are still in touch. Victor lost his leg in a traffic accident, and he thought he would be bound to crutches for the rest of his life until he found Romp. He was a blast to work with. His smile <laughs> lit up the room, and within one day of getting fit with his first prosthesis ever, he was literally dancing around our clinic. He talked about going back to work, playing with his kids, riding his motorcycle, and dancing with his wife. We ask our patients what mobility means to them, and the answers are simple. It means providing for their families, walking without assistance, and enjoying the outdoors, things that we can all relate to. So let me ask you a question. If I took away your guys' glasses or contacts, like how many of you would struggle to function, right? Yeah, so just like corrective lenses for us, a, I think a prosthesis is a medical necessity for an amputee. And how many of you have had the joy of being on crutches? Lost your mobility for even a day or a month? How frustrating, right? I really believe the mobility is the one thing we all take for granted every day until we lose it. Now we all live in Colorado, so we enjoy the outdoors like skiing and mountain biking and climbing. But the mo and not being able to do our favorite activity is truly heartbreaking, but the mobility I'm talking about is as simple as getting from your bed to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee in the morning. Something that always stuck with me is that disability is the only minority group that anyone can join at any time. It does not discriminate against your age, your gender, your race, or your economic status. And no one plans to be an amputee. What I love about my job is I get to give the gift of mobility back to people who have lost it. ROMP doesn't see an amputation as a disability. 
we see the lack of access to care as a disability. Our bodies are not broken, our healthcare systems are, and our spirits are. Our signature event for Climbing for Romp is a volcano in Ecuador, where we invite amputee and non-amputees to join together and show the world the power of mobility. Some of these climbers are patients of ours. They're there proving that if you have access to the right tools in any aspect of your life, no summit is too far. And watching them progress from parallel bars to mountaintops is truly a testament of the human spirit. Last September, our elite team of 19 climbers, including 11 amputees, some of which are here tonight, um, <laughs> we summited Cotopaxi at 19,347 feet. <laughs> Climbing for Rump, uh, in its four years, we've had thousands of people climb, representing every continent, and raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for our patients. Climbing for Rump has allowed us to directly translate physical mobility in real time, so that, I don't know, maybe, for example, you guys this summer are climbing a 14er, struggling up a 14er, our patients in Ecuador, Guatemala, and the US could be simultaneously taking their first steps thanks to you. Phys uh, <laughs> vertical feet for prosthetic feet. So with that, my final question is, what's your mountain? That was awesome. Well done.